Hello there, Pastor Reed from Online Bible Church. We're going to do a book review today, and this is something that I picked up on Amazon. It was very inexpensive. It was under $20, and it is Clarence Larkin Chart Collection. Now, this is a compilation done in 2020 by Barnes & Noble Publishing. And Clarence Larkin, I love, um, because I'm a visual learner. I love timelines and, and visual uh, teaching. That's why I like Robert Breaker. I did a video on him uh, when he does timelines and that. Why was this book so cheap? Well, I was very disappointed when I received it. And I'm going to show you many examples of how the charts have been resized and stretched and in many cases are blurry and hard to see and hard to read. Um, first example here is Genesis. You can tell it's been stretched vertically um, and can be difficult to read. But um, Now Clarence Larkin, he believes, uh, for example, here in uh, the creation there was the original earth, and then there was a chaotic earth, Genesis 1, 2. And then we have the present earth, Genesis 1, 3, and following. That's something that Peter Ruckman believed. I don't agree with that. I don't believe in the gap theory. I think that when the Bible says in Genesis 1, 2, the earth was without form and void, that just means it wasn't finished. There was no water. There was nothing created on it. It was basically just a rock. And... Um, then it talks about how the earth was without form and void and darkness and all of that. And then God created from there. So I don't believe that the earth was created. Then there was a flood and all of that. And, and the earth was recreated. I'm not going to break fellowship or argue with anybody that believes that. Because in my opinion, that's a non-essential. Um, I love Peter Ruckman. He taught, I can agree with 98% of what he taught. Amen. Um, Clarence Larkin, you're going to get a lot of really great stuff here, but this book was disappointing. You can see this has been resized, and the text here is very, very difficult to read. I don't know how well it's coming through on the video, but my eyes, and I have 20-20 vision. When I wear my glasses, I wear these glasses normally for blue light and uh, for light sensitivity. It kind of helps me. I don't read it. I don't wear these glasses to help my eyesight. My eyesight, I have 20-20 vision. I just wear the glasses for um, a blue light filter and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, you can see here, it's been resized. You can't even read that. It's very pixelated. So yeah, I was very disappointed with this. Some are very clear, like this here. Um, very clear, very good. You can photocopy that and put it uh, in the back of your Bible on one of those blank... Uh, Pages. That's what I did with uh, my Thompson chain. I put, uh, printed out Clarence Larkin charts from uh, the internet and printed them out and glued them on those blank pages. They're there. You might as well use them. You can fill them up with notes or charts or things like that. But again, look at this. It's been stretched. It's pixelated. It's blurry. You can read it, but it's not very pleasant to the eyes. Um... And then you can see, like here, this is obviously very, very stretched vertically. Like those aren't circles, those are ovals. Um, and these aren't all of his charts. These This only has 114 pages. So it's got probably his most uh, famous, most popular charts. You can see in this one here, you can kind of see a line down here. So it looks like this was originally, uh, in the original work, was published over two pages, and they've um, uh, copied it and shrunk it down. So you can actually see with the lettering how it would go to, there was probably, a, a, probably the middle of the book was here, and then... So, yeah, this was, this was disappointing. Like this, I can't even read that. Um, and if you look at uh, like this here, there's not even consistency. This is very gray and kind of washed out. This is darker 
and a lot clearer. So even side by side, there's not that consistency. Again, you can see how this has been all stretched. Um, so I can't really recommend this book. Uh, this here, I can't really read anything on this page other than the titles. So very disappointing. Uh, but I paid, I think, 15 or $17 Canadian for it. So... I can't really complain. But anyway, uh, yeah, I cannot, unfortunately, recommend this. Not because of doctrine, but just because of the quality of the publication, unfortunately. So as soon as I got this and looked through it, I said, okay, I'm going to go back onto Amazon and get one that's a little better quality. And I found an edition that has 330-some pages, and it says right on it that it's full-size chart. So anyway... When that comes and I look through that, I will do a review on that. But anyway, unfortunately, I can't recommend this one because it's very, very bad quality in the images. So until next time, God bless.